Hi everybody, it's Amalia and I'm back again with another sheet load of cards. This is a YouTube video collab and be sure to take a look at the playlist for below for all of the videos from the sheet load team. If you're not familiar with the sheet load, Alicia from Call Me Crafty Al produces a sheet load that is a sketch supply list and cutting guide that provides you with all of the details and information that you need to create anywhere from 6 to 12 cards from 12 by 12 paper. Sometimes she does these in 6 by 6 paper and in different sizes, but it's always a lot of fun and you always make a lot of cards. Don't forget to use the hashtags for the sheet load. If you decide to use the sheet loads this month and you want to post it on social media, use the sheet loads and we'll come by and take a look at your creation. If you know my channel, you know that I work through an entire paper pad until I'm done with it. So I'm using the Coral and Navy stack from DCWV and I still have some full pages left. Who knows? Will I finish it all? I don't know, but I do know that I'm gonna show you my cards next and then I'll show you what I'm thinking of moving into and I want you to help me decide. First, let's take a look at the cards that I made. This sheet load makes a total of eight cards and I used some foil paper and some vellum to create my focal points. I won't tell you the dies that I used to cut out the happy banner and the birthday sentiment because you might not be able to find them, um, but anything that you have will work out fine. You could stamp it on a simple stamp your sentiment on simple white paper and just put that right in the center and it will be gorgeous. I'm also using these diamond dots. Now these are diamond dots for diamond dot painting. If you're not familiar with that, look it up. <laughs> but it's basically painting with these colored little dots. Well, they were on sale at Hobby Lobby and I decided to pick some up and they are perfect for decorating your cards with. And uh, they have a low profile and they work really well. Click thumbs up if you like using other crafts with your other crafts. If you like making cards and using other craft supplies. So let's take a look at our choices now. I need your help to pick from what I have here. The first choice is going to be card kits. So it's paper kits with stickers and ephemera. And the first one is this Julie Nutting one. So this is going to be uh, four paper packs as the first choice and these Julie Nutty ones the paper is really pretty it's kind of vintage with a very feminine uh, quality um, I have uh, lots of stuff in my stash that would go with this and uh, I think it would be a, this particular paper pad would be a good choice for um, making some of the sheet load cards so I have this one also in this grouping is going to be this doodle bug um, paper pack. I have two of them because I fell in love with it crazy. <laughs> I decided to buy one to use and buy one to hoard, of course. Click thumbs up if you can totally relate. I'll show you some of the papers in this stash, but they're super adorable, just like all Doodlebug stuff is. And the patterns are nice and small, so they'd be good for A2 size cards. They are bright and colorful, and I'm still in love with this paper. So I think this would be a nice choice for sure for the sheet load. Also, this is from Photoplay. This is gnome and beehive themed. So it's very black, white, and yellow with pops of other colors. And it's got birdhouses, wood, florals, gnomes, gingham, um, you know, bees, <laughs> polka dots, flowers, etc and uh, stickers as well as that fabulous paper. This is the Flora collection from Cartabella. This paper is absolutely stunning. It's a watercolor style and um, the paper, it's got stickers to go uh, you know, with the paper as well, but look how beautiful this paper is. I wish I could watercolor like this. I wish, I wish, I wish. Uh, it's got different sized patterns on it. I think this would go well on an A2 card. It's got cutouts that I don't usually use for the sheet load, but who knows? Anyway, this is gorgeous paper and um, 
you know, I think it might work uh, with A2 size cards. The next option, option number two, is going to be going through this folder of Stampin' Up! paper packs. These are old, used, dug into, scraps are in here, uh, but it's all vintage Stampin' Up! paper packs. <laughs> vintage as in old. And it's got some gorgeous paper in it. Uh, paper I think that will go well uh, using up the sheet load because the patterns are decent sized patterns. Uh, Stampin' Up! paper really makes awesome paper. And this is my favorite. This is my all time favorite from Stampin' Up! And I think it's called um, Beau Chateau or something like that. And uh, that's my favorite Stampin' Up! color. That brown is was called Soft Suede. And it's got lots of damask in it and uh, lines and toile. Toile is my favorite. And that's some paper that just matches it. So I stuffed it in there. And so that's choice number two to go through those paper packs finally. And choice number three is this K and Company Sweet Nectar paper pad. These papers are absolutely gorgeous. And uh, let's take a look through them. Now, the only thing about this, I love this. I absolutely love this beautiful design, but I don't think these large patterns are going to go well for cutting down for A2 cards. You know, each paper has a front and a back and the back is usually a smaller pattern. And those would work well, I think, for A2 size cards. But look how beautiful these strawberries are against that blue gingham background. The page on itself is frameable. It's so beautiful and would make a beautiful background for a scrapbook page. But too large, I think, for an A2 card. This one may work on an A2 card. This one as well. This one's foiled. Um, and again, the back side is a beautiful polka dot, but nicely sized. Look how stunning this is. Oh my God, it's the colors and the foiling and the everything. But you lose a lot when you cut these large images down for an A2 card. I love these polka dots. This is one of my favorites right here. Um, these number cards, those are meant for cut apart. These beautiful polka dots are gorgeous on an A2 size card. Um, this one, the floral, would be lovely on an A2 size card. But again, we're back to these large images that really don't translate well when you're cutting them down uh, for the sheet load of cards. So that's choice number three, K and Company Sweet Nectar. I'm going to say there's going to be choice number four. Choice number four is going to be none of the above. Try again. <laughs> but I'm going to post a uh, poll on my community tab and uh, keep an eye out. Uh, if you have a vote right now, you know exactly which one I should use or you have a suggestion, leave a comment below for sure. Click thumbs up if uh, you like this video and thanks so much for stopping by everybody. Again, keep an eye out for my poll to help me choose what's next. Bye-bye.